Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to load weather forecast data into Google Sheets. I'll start by going to the Visual Crossing Weather Data Download page and logging into my Visual Crossing Weather account. If you don't already have an account, simply click on the orange button on the right hand side of the login page. Signing up for a free trial account will give you instant access to a full 15 day forecast for any location worldwide. For this example, I'll select the option to manually enter a location to use for the weather forecast. However, I could instead load a sheet of addresses or paste in a list as plain text. As for the address itself, I'll let the system use my current location by clicking on the Your Location link. I'll also give the location a name for my own reference in the output data. I'll choose the default weather query option which provides a 15 day daily forecast. In this panel, you can also see other options such as historical data, summary reports, and hourly data. These are among the many options covered by our other videos and tutorials. When I run the query, the default view is the weather calendar. I can easily change to the grid view to see more details or download the data as a CSV file. However, instead I will switch to the API view and copy the query URL. I can now use this URL to load the weather query results directly into a Google Sheet. Loading the live result data is as simple as entering the URL into Google Sheets import data function. My last step is to format the date column as a Google Sheets date. And now my weather data is loaded and ready for analysis. If you would like to learn more about using Visual Crossing weather options such as history data, multiple location import, and within other analysis tools, please see our other videos. Thank you for watching.